Hello guys, my name is Richmond and I welcome you back to the Rex Tech channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make accurate pivot turns using your EV3 robot. And before I continue with this tutorial, please don't forget to tap the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to get any new video released from this channel also if you missed my previous tutorial where I taught proportional line flowing you can go to the description below and get the link over there now in this tutorial the first thing I would like you to take note when you see your gyro sensor is to set it at reset or put it at reset when using it so that will be the first thing you are going to do over here put the gyro block and set it to reset now the next thing you are going to do is to pick a loop block a loop block over here and since you are going to make a turn you will need uh, an action block and remember you are going to make a pivot turn so I'll advise you to use the move stand block the next thing you are going to do is to set this move stand block to on now I would like you to pay um, attention over here now with this move stand block we can make a um, an accurate pivot turn by um, setting one of the motor powers to a negative value and maintaining one as a positive value. So this will let the robot uh, make um, a pivot turn. Now, um, if you want to make a left pivot turn, that means you are going to set the left. Uh, motor power to a negative value as well as if you want to make a right pivot turn that means you are going to set the right motor power to a negative value now what I'm going to consider first is a right pivot turn now, the right pivot turn we are going to set the motor power of the right motor to a negative value and the reason why I'm using um, negative um, or speed power of 30 is that um, I want to get the turning more accurately so just use a very low motor power in order to get a very good turn now the next thing you are going to do here is to change this um, loop from unlimited to gyro reading for angles now one thing we have to also take note over here is that when the gyro is reading to the right um, the value is in positive and when it's reading towards the left the value is in negative or the value is a negative value so here since you are making um, a right turn we are going to make this value still positive and this is where we are going to make um, some changes now since we want to make um, a 90 turn or even not 90 we um, are going to just um, get a slight change in the value of 90 we don't want anything less than 90 we are going to set this to um, greater than or equal to 90 so what this actually means is that if you are not able to stop right at 90 degrees maybe the gyro can move forward to let's say 91 or 91.5 degrees and that looks a little bit accurate and the last thing we are going to do is to put a stop block at the end of the code 
and this is very important because um, this actually makes people's um, gyrotin um, inaccurate because they refuse to put their stop lock over here which is very important so now I'm going to upload this to the robot and see how it makes it um, 90 10 to the right now that was a perfect 90 10 um, the next um, 10 I'm going to consider here is um, a perfect 10 or a pivot 10 towards the left side for that one as I said earlier on the left motor power is going to be set to a negative value so here we are going to have negative 30 over here and the right motor power is going to be positive and also as I said earlier on when the robot is turning to the left the readings of the gyro is in um, is in a negative and so we have to set this to negative 90 now as we did for the right turn we are going to do same for the left turn so we are going to use less than or equal to so if the robot don't get um, negative 90 maybe a move further to negative 91 or negative 91.1 or 0.5 so that also looks more accurate that is why we use um, less than or equal to over here so I'm going to upload this also and see what happens now I think this tutorial has helped you a lot so don't forget to tap the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to get more videos from this channel thank you